Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, for waiting. It was a tough fight. Katie's been stitched up, I think, Amanda as well, and I know she's already spoken. Um, there's a lot of you, and we're very grateful for that. We're not going to stay too long, because as I said, Katie had a very tough fight. But firstly, I just want to thank Madison Square Garden, DAZN, all the media for just the most incredible night. You know, we built this as the biggest female fight of all time. Um, and it became one of the biggest fights in boxing today, but what you witnessed was one of the greatest fights, I believe, in the history of Madison Square Garden. And uh, both, both women deserve so much credit, and I think now, to be honest, is the night that we stop talking about women's and men's boxing, just, just boxing, because that was one of the best fights I've ever witnessed live. So congratulations to Katie Taylor. And we're going to go to the floor for questions. Jake Donovan, I believe. Go first. Thanks. Hey, Katie, congratulations. Uh, incredible. Everyone here, it's, you know, fight of the year, just probably the event of the year. For you, you became the undisputed champion in this building three years ago. I know you were displeased with your performance. How important was it for you to deliver a career-defining performance tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is always to come out uh, as a winner, regardless of uh, how, uh, you know, I, I performed uh, well or not. But, yeah, tonight was uh, just fantastic. I had to dig deep in there tonight. I had to produce a career to find the performance that actually went tonight. And um, what an amazing champion Amanda is as well. Um, a phenomenal fighter. And uh, we definitely um, we definitely got the best out of each other tonight, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, everyone was talking about going into this fight. It was the biggest fight in women's boxing history. But I think it actually exceeded everything that uh, that people were talking about this week, and um, yeah, just even walking out to the ring, uh, walking out to the ring today, just looking at the, the packed stadium, um, unbelievable stuff. This is it was absolutely special, special moment. Uh, the best night of my career for for sure. I I, I wasn't uh, sure if anything could uh, could um, reach my Olympic gold medal moment, but tonight was absolutely the best moment of my career. Yeah. So, um, all, yeah, all three judges had you winning the final three rounds to pull out the victory. Did you sense that you needed those three rounds to win this? Uh, yeah, I came back and uh, I guess that's what was my corner was saying. I needed, I needed the championship rounds and uh, I did what I had to do. I, I showed that the champion's heart in there as I always do. Um, I think uh, time and time again, time and time again, I always show that, that, that champion's heart when I need to. And, I dug deep when I needed to tonight. I was in the trenches again tonight, and um, those are the, those are career defining moments for sure. Yeah, Katie you. Sean Bowen here. Congrats. <laughs> Already the Serrano team were here. They're only gone about ten minutes, and they more or less said they'd come to Dublin for the return. Yeah. Eddie, <laughs> what do you think? They all agreed they would prepare to come to Dublin. Will you give a return? Fight. Me? Well, you're Katie, you're the return. <laughs> yeah. but, well, you're Katie. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think, talk about the rematch first. Yeah. If it was a fight you'd be interested in, and I'll talk about Ireland. Absolutely. Um, we, we all want to see the best yeah. versus the best. So that, um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, a rematch would be absolutely phenomenal. And if it was in Dublin, we could sell out Crow Park, I would say 90,000 people. <laughs> Um, so that will be unbelievable. We we seen something special here tonight. Imagine flying in front of eighty or ninety thousand people in Crow Park. Um, ab absolutely, that that can happen. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, are you, were you organising Eddie? Yeah, of course. I hope so. He, he, still, he is my promoter. Yeah. She'll still let me unless you know something I don't. I don't know. But, um, Fifty years ago, Muhammad Ali fought Crow Park. Yeah. So he went to the greatest yeah of course I mean look that felt like Croke Park tonight I mean it was just incredible and uh, I'm not sure we'll get as many travelling Puerto Ricans um, but you know it, it would always and it has always been on our minds and would feel a big shame if she didn't get a chance to fight in Ireland you know during her career so um, if we could do that you know and, and back end of the summer I said there's you know it's a, a tough fight she's going to need some rest not too much rest knowing Katie but certainly, certainly on the mind of us all. Yeah, just for Katie, could I ask her where did she find the, the strength or the character or whatever it was to come back after uh, 
after round five when you did ship probably more punishment in that round than maybe in your entire career. How did I come back? Yeah, like where did you get the courage and, and the strength to come back? Um, I think the courage and the strength uh, comes back in those moments just purely from the hard work that I actually put in in training camp over the last few months. It's in those moments uh, that the hard work pays off in training. I don't just show courage on a fight night, I show courage every single day in training, day after day after day, in hard spars, um, week after week. And um, and that's exactly why you train hard for the, for those uh, moments when you actually are in the trenches. And she's just built different. she got balls of steel out there, what you want to call her. <laughs> Katie, over here, down here. Uh, hi. Hi, Katie. A uh, couple things. First, like you're talking about the fifth round, was, did Amanda do something or change anything up in the fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth to really be able to get in and land more shots than she had been doing the first few rounds? Um, I, I don't think she did anything differently. I just probably stood there a bit too, too long uh, myself probably and just um, made it into a bit of a tear up uh, as I always do unfortunately. Um, I think I was boxing very very well obviously in the, in the earlier rounds and I just got um, just got uh, stuck uh, just just in a fight with her. Um, but yeah I can't, I can't say that she, she did anything differently. Um, I just love a terror every, every now and then. <laughs> yeah. And you, you talked about how you thought maybe tonight even exceeded expectations. Was there a moment that when you look back at everything, whether it was the walk up, whether it was the walk in, anything like that, that made you say, whoa, this is something different? I think even at the weigh in yesterday, um, I did not expect to have a weigh in of that magnitude, even. Um, you're, you're seeing all the Puerto Rican fans, all the, the traveling Irish fans seeing all the Puerto Rican flags and the Irish flags around the place. The atmosphere even yesterday for the weigh-in was unbelievable. It was, it was like something like a, an Anthony Joshua weigh-in or Canelo weigh-in. I never, uh, never experienced anything, anything like that um, throughout my professional career. And then just selling at Madison Square Garden here tonight. Just the atmosphere was amazing. Tonight was just very, 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 very special. I, I, don't know. I don't know what else to say. Do you feel like you elevated your sport tonight? Absolutely, yeah. Um, tonight, uh, we were saying before that um, in Madison Square Garden, you're thinking about having Ali and Joe Frazier. People will absolutely be talking about um, my, myself and Amanda Serrano for years and years to come. This is a history-making fight, and I definitely uh, live up to that expectation.